Hey, YouTube Pipers, what's up? Ginger Piper here, and I am gonna show you how to rehydrate tobacco, but like a lot of it. I've seen a lot of videos where they do it in little tobacco tins, and I bought um, eight ounces of bulk tobacco, and it came in pretty dry, still a really good price, so it's worth rehydrating this tobacco. So I bought Cornell and Deal's Virginia Gentleman, because I'm looking for a nice Virginia that isn't too bitey. It'll be a nice all day smoke. And I got a bunch in bulk. Um, it's just really dry. So let's listen to it. A lot of the methods that I saw for um, rehydrating tobacco are for really small batches. And if you're gonna, we're gonna rehydrate this much. So that's not gonna work in a little tin. So I have a method that I just used on some uh, Roland's regular tobacco and it worked quite well. So we're gonna do that and I want to show you just how dry this is I just got this bulk on pipesandcigars.com. It's pretty dry so I'm gonna get my little mic close to it You can hear it rustling around it's crispy. I've had it I even tried um, spraying this with distilled water I spread it all out on a baking sheet sprayed it with distilled water put it back into a jar overnight with a Bovita pack, nothing, that, none of that worked. So we're gonna use a method that I saw from Stogie Farts and then um, I saw from Munchop Piper. This is just sort of a scaled up method of those two methods. So let's do this. So what I have here So what you're gonna need for this is some sort of big Tupperware with a lid on it that is airtight. So I have this big glass bowl with this lid. So this closes and it's airtight. And obviously you just need a bigger bowl. It's similar to a tobacco tin, but you just, I have a lot more tobacco. So this is the method that I found that worked with this amount. So basically you just pour all your tobacco into a bowl I'm just evening it out. Yeah, the Bovita pack method, I put them in there for over, I think it was like 36 hours and didn't do anything. Still pretty dry. This actually might even be a little bit too much um, for this method, but let's see. Then I have this little plastic, I have this little plastic container that came with my cigar humidor and I never used it, uh, but you can use any sort of plastic container as long as it's not going to touch the top of your bowl. So what I'm doing now is just making a little spot, a little bed. As you can see in here, I made a little bed for this plastic container and I have all the tobacco around it. So what I'm going to do is take some paper towels and I'm going to get them drenched with distilled water and then I'm gonna put them in here and then close this up for 24 to 48 hours. Um, what I actually did with my last batch of tobacco that I was rehydrating, I put it in here for 24 hours and the top was getting really moist. So then I took out this little plastic container and mixed up the tobacco to spread the moisture, put it back in for the other 24 hours. So it spreads the moisture throughout the tobacco. So I just grabbed another plastic bowl. What I'm gonna do with this is use it to get my paper towels nice and wet because I don't wanna try to do it over that little plastic container that I have surrounded by tobacco because you don't wanna get your tobacco soaked. And you wanna use distilled water because there are less minerals in the water. So you have a much lower chance of getting mold in your tobacco, which obviously you don't wanna smoke moldy tobacco. So let's I'm just going to dump some water in this bowl and then move. Let's get this out of here. Get this paper towel to soak up all of this water, distilled water. And then we're going to grab this big bowl of tobacco over here and put that sopping wet paper towel in there. 
Now you can also use coffee filters. That's what they use in the other two methods by Stogie Farts and Mutton Chap. But I'm using paper towels. And I'm using like three paper towels and they're really soaked in water. Um, they used just, you know, like one coffee filter or one paper towel. That's because I'm using, that's because I'm rehydrating a lot more tobacco. All right, so now I have my setup where I have my tobacco surrounding my plastic container with my paper towels that are drenched in distilled water. And what we're gonna do here, I just wanna make sure that the edge of this doesn't have any thing on it, any tobacco or any water because that could mess up our seal. Then I'm gonna take this and cover it up. Make sure that this is completely sealed, which it is. Now we're on our way to Smokeville, but um, let's check in on this tobacco in, we'll check in tomorrow morning. So it'll be about 18 hours the next time we check in. So see you tomorrow morning. All right, it's actually been a little over 24 hours now and let's check in and see how this tobacco is rehydrating Sure does smell good. Oh nice It still sounds a bit crispy, but you feel the moisture in there for sure Still has a while to go um, I do think I'm going to mix this up a little. This is just to get the moisture all throughout the tobacco. This honestly might be like a three day rehydration here. So I'm just making another little clear pocket on the bottom so where I can put my water tray. All right, we're back at it again. We'll check in tomorrow and see how it goes. So, so far it's been a little over 24 hours. So, see you in another 24 hours. So we're done rehydrating this big amount of tobacco. I think it's about eight ounces, but it even kind of seems like more than eight ounces, maybe because it was packed so dry. Um, so I've had this in the bowl for now 120 hours, which is about five days, which if you think about it, not really that big of a deal, especially during a work week, you just kind of forget about it, smoke some other stuff, um, especially if you have other stuff, which hopefully you do. So this little method definitely worked. What we're gonna do is take some out and just look at it to show you the difference. So it's definitely not making the same crispity, crunchity paper sound that it was making. And now look, if you have a bunch of this and you squeeze it together, it'll sort of stay in that shape and then fall apart, which is exactly how you want your tobacco to be as far as moisture goes. So now really the next step is to take some dried out mason jars. I just washed these in the, oh, just wash these. I don't know why I made that noise. I just washed these in the uh, dishwasher. I'm just double checking that they're all dried out because we have a good moisture level, so we don't really need to mess with that at all. And then I'm gonna pack these into mason jars and then label them because mason jars will keep these at the perfect moisture level. And you can really pack these into your jars. We're gonna see, I may need some bigger jars for this one. I can just pack this over this gargantuan bowl, actually. Um, but before I do that, I'm just gonna mix it up because the tobacco on top will obviously be more moist than the tobacco that was sitting at the very bottom. 
So I'm just mixing up. Ah, smells so good. This beautiful Virginia Gentleman tobacco by Cornell and Deal. So let's, let's pack these puppies up. Maybe three mason jars will do the trick on this one. These are 16 ounce mason jars, I believe. Yeah, 16 ounce mason jars. I normally just use an eight ounce jar, normally holds two ounces of tobacco because the way that it works. Um, but we'll see how many of these 16 ounce jars it's gonna take to pack all this stuff away. If I, and I, you're supposed to push it in there quite tightly. So you can fit a decent amount of tobacco in there. And that'll help it keep the moisture. All right, so we got one. I'm excited to smoke this at the proper moisture level because I've only smoked this pretty dry. So looking forward to my first Virginia gentleman smoke. Oh yeah, this will definitely fit. Might be able to get this in two. All right, now we just got a little bit of the dust. A little bit of the dusty grains and I cleaned off my counter before I did this. So just wiping the tobacco into there. Let's pour it into something that we can use to whoop. I can bend this leather, get the rest of it in there. All right. Then you want to take two bone dry lids, label them, which I'll do. That is not a bone dry lid. There we go. Make sure that the tops of your jars are clean so that you get a nice, see how it's not moving when I rotate it? Get a nice airtight seal. Now that little bit of oxygen in there and that nice seal is gonna allow this tobacco to age. So one of these is gonna go in my cellar and one of these is gonna get smoked. So, that's how you rehydrate a bigger amount of tobacco than just a little tin. So don't be afraid to buy in bulk. If you get a big bulk bag and it comes in dry, just get some big Tupperware and rehydrate it and you'll be fine. So that's it. That's how you take care of your tobacco and get it to a ready smokable level. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Ginger Piper, and follow me on Instagram, at The Ginger Piper, where I post a new picture every day or a little tutorial video on how to do some random piping things. So far, I've done how to pack flake tobacco, how to light your tobacco pipe, and how to ash your pipe if you've never done that, um, and how to ash your pipe if you've never done that. So please subscribe, please follow. It really helps. And if you want to hit me up on Twitter, I am on Twitter at The Flannel Fox. Um, Please let me know in the comments if this helped you. Please let me know if you have any questions about how it worked, why I did things the way that I did, or if you just wanna say hello. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time, Pipers.